Hey, what's up guys? So as you can see, the past three days it has been raining. And today, it's a little wet, but it's not raining. This is going to be the final video of the RTI bumper conversion. In the first video, we compared the two bumpers and found out that they're exactly the same. The USDM and the JDM bumper are the same part numbers. In the second video, I showed you where to cut your bumper to put the fog lights in. In this video, I will install the fog lights and give you the, uh, the list of things you'll need and the price of what everything costs. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I go inside for like 30 minutes so I can charge my Dremel battery and now it's fucking pouring and it's like dark outside. I'm sick of this rain. All right, so there's the left side or I guess if you're facing it, the right side. I'm going to um, not glue this on just yet because I need to find or get the paint for it. I recorded putting this side in, but of course I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but now I do, so I'm going to do the other side and show you step by step on how to do it. All right guys, so first thing you wanna do is take your fog light and rotate it 180 degrees because you can see inside there's like this little metal guard and it basically keeps the light from shining upward it keeps it shining down but the mount is going to be on the top twist the, the cover off the gasket just fell off this is the actual light and the lights are replaceable so that's a plus you don't have to replace the whole glass. So we're just gonna rotate it to where the, uh, the letters are at the bottom, the mounts at the top. We're gonna get the gasket back on. And Get that back on. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna switch the location of the bolt. The bolt's in the top, but we need it to come out the back. So we're gonna drill a hole right there. I'm just gonna drill it right in the center. All right, so this is the uh, original bolt that came with it but we need a longer one the original bolt is like a one inch the bolt i bought is an inch and a half that will now slide into there and there we go now we need to drill a hole into here so on the reinforcement bar you've got this lip on the other side so you want to take your tape measure, stick it on there, and at two and three quarters is where we're going to drill our hole. Like right in here, it's right in the corner, or right in the edge of it. And then this is our center point, so it's going to be right, right there. Punch a little spot for the drill bit. I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit just to get a tiny hole started because it's right on the edge and it's gonna be really hard to get it going. Now I'm gonna step it up to a little bit bigger. Now the final hole, or the final bit is a 3 8 
So this will go into that hole. But first we need to cut a notch in the back so we can have access to getting the nut on. So you can see over here I put a pretty substantial size hole. I didn't need to make it that big but it just made it easier to access. And so I'm going to do the same on the other side. So the hole is about right here. But I'm going to notch all this out. So there's my cut lines. If you're using a Dremel, make sure you have plenty of uh, cutoff wheels. Alright, so right there is the hole where we're going to put the fog light bolt through. We need to reshape that hole a little bit more. That way it's uh, elongated. All right, so I got it bolted down. Um, it's not in there quite right. It probably needs to tilt this way a little bit. And it's super tight. I need to elongate the hole, make it a little longer. That way I can adjust this up and down. And then I can also adjust it side to side. So there she is. She looks pretty damn close to the uh, original RTI bumper. And like I said, I just need to paint the lip and glue it on and then elongate the hole. That way I can adjust the light. And as a bonus video, I will be making a wiring harness because I do have access to OEM JDM wiring harness from the beagle so i'm going to take this wiring harness cut it up and match it to the jdm oem fog light wiring harness but that'll be in another video and uh i'll probably add more to this tomorrow but i'm gonna stop here and go ahead and do some editing and hopefully i'll have this posted up tomorrow so i was gonna add more to this video today but i woke up this morning feeling like shit so um the total price of the rti bumper was about 137 dollars that includes the fog lights the um uh, the plastic uh pot and the bolts and i spent like 20 more dollars for um extra cutting blades for my dremel but you can use what you got to cut. I'm not going to add that in the price. And so I will uh, post all the links in the description of where I bought everything. And as far as the fog lights, they are, I think they're discontinued. And so they, they're really hard to find. But I've posted several links in the description of where you can get them. <coughs> and I was actually, uh, I found... A set for like a hundred and three dollars on another website I don't know if they have them in stock but they have them listed for a hundred and three dollars I paid a hundred and thirty four dollars for them on eBay and so uh, I should have done a little bit more searching I, it was like on the twelfth page of Google so whatever you can you can get them a little bit cheaper if they do have them in stock but uh, I hope you all enjoy this video please like subscribe um, and I will see you all next time.